Hello guys, Jonas here and welcome to Slime, Mr. Kai Memories. And today let's talk about how you can effectively power up your troop EP in the game so that you can boost the performance of your battle characters out there in the battlefield so that you can even clear those harder contents easily, right? That said, I've got a total of 7 tips for you guys in this video provided to us by JokerTM from the Discord channel. That's it, let's get this started. Tip number 1. Level up your main and support battle characters to maximum each beat do really count yes you heard me right guys and pretty much a basic idea as well isn't it for a beginner this is definitely gonna be the best possible way in order to spike your troop EP really high early on in the game as well as soon as you are done designing or let's say forming up your team then well you are supposed to level up your main battle characters right away and we have got a total of five main battle characters all right and once you hit the level capacity like let's say for example right over here my space remover tempest is level capped at level 80 and for that I have to awaken him further in order to provide him further level up boost, all right? And in order to awaken, we will require the dupes of the same character, and that is pretty much the pay to win feature in this game. That said, you are also required to assign a really good support character to your main battle character so that your main battle character can actually get, receive a lot of stats boost. For example, right over here, guys. Uh, my Shuna right over here is of level 60, right? And these are the stats that I'm, uh, that my uh, support character Shuna is going to be providing to my main battle character, uh, Space Rimuru Tempest. Instead of level 60 Shuna right over here, if I'm actually going to be provide uh, that uh, level 1 battle, uh, support character, then what's going to happen is that I'm going to be facing a lot of stats penalty out here for Space Rimuru Tempest, and that is definitely not a really good scenario, right? So definitely I would want to assign the best possible highest upgrade type of support character to my main battle character so that I can provide massive stat boost to my main battle character. And now that said, you are also supposed to uh, match up the element of the battle characters right over here the support battle character should have the uh, same type of element as that of the main battle characters with whom she is assigned with all right because like if you match up the element you can actually get a support bonus of up to 35 percent instead of just 25 percent and that is really great isn't it additional of 10 percent of support bonus boost right over there so yeah there we go guys that is the tip number one now let's move on into the tip number two that says gear up all your main battle characters with really good equipments out there in your inventory list and also do provide at least a weapon to your support battle characters so that those support battle characters can actually provide you with really good uh, attack stats bonus to your main battle character all right so in order to equip your character with really good equipment just go right over here and provide them with the best possible equipment sets out there so that they can actually provide you with a lot of stats and that can be a really great help early on in the game as well because that extra attack boost that extra defense boost that extra HP boost is actually gonna take you a very long way out there okay so please do that not only just for the main battle characters but also for the support battle characters out there and now let's move on into the tip number three and it says max out your protection character before anything else upgrade his stats three first you know the ability to release yes his uh, stats can uh, directly be added to your other battle characters yes you heard me right let's check it out right over here all right so looking into this particular uh, protection character out here, known as Chabris, all right? Instead of this character, if I'm actually gonna be placing this low tier character, I'm gonna be facing a lot of uh, stats penalty, all right? For example, if I'm gonna be placing this level one character right over here, these are gonna be the stats of my main battle characters. For example, let's take the example of my Space Remiro Tempest. Right now, his HP is gonna be 4,537 points. Uh, attack is gonna be 1,854 points, and the defense is gonna be 2100 points so if i'm going to be replacing this particular prediction character with the cherub disc that's going to be my main prediction character then what's going to happen is that you can see a massive boost of stats in my special movie tempest right now his hp is really high 5832 points attack is going to be about like 2407 points look at that really good stat boost that means the stats of your protection character is actually going to be directly added to your to the stats of your main battle characters that's how it is all right so yes please do that 
And you are also required to release the abilities of your protection character so that your protection character can actually have a lot more stats out there. And as I mentioned it a while ago, the stats of your protection characters are going to be directly added to your main battle character. So yes, more the stats your um, uh, protection character is going to have, the, your main team is actually going to be proportionally going to benefit all right so yeah that is it and please do level up your protection character as well because this is going to be the basic way on how you can actually uh, provide a lot of stat boost to your protection character right yeah there we go and now let's move on to the next tip tip number four upgrade your main battle characters and support battle characters stats trees as far as you can go yes you heard me right guys not only just the protection character but also the um, main battle characters and the support battle characters are needed to be ability released all right so that they can actually be provided with a lot of additional stats HP stats attack stats uh, defense stats and there's a uh, output power stat okay yeah that is it guys and that's gonna be a really great help in the overall AP boost of your character and this is really good guys all right so yeah that is it and uh, now let's move on into the tip number five team synergy is very very important in this game try to use those battle characters that work off with your protection character yes you heard me right that is the reason why we are supposed to match up the elements of the protection character with that of the battle characters as much as possible. For example, Charibdis right over here is going to be providing 16% of attack boost to the space element allies. Alright, and 8% of attack boost to the wind element type allies out here. We are going to be checking out right over here guys in the protection character right over here. Looking into the details no, of this character right over here. Look into the skills right over here. It says increase all the allies space attack at the start of battle by 11%, which can be improved later on up to like 16%. All right, and increases all allies wind attack at the start of the battle by 8%. And there we go, guys. Try to keep on improving the abilities out there, and that's going to be a really great help out there. And you can also see in the status effect right over here that Charibdis is actually going to provide that 200% of boost to the space magic device and 100% of boost to the wind magic device as well. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Depending upon like which particular main battle characters that you have in your team, you are supposed to come up with the similar type of. Uh, protection character to get the best possible results for example if I were to have like fire elemental type of uh, the uh, main battle characters then I had to go with this particular battle character known as uh, this this particular character uh, known as Salamander the Flame Master okay this guy would have actually provided that amazing uh, fire attack boost up to like 7% for my entire fire ally units out there and then like uh, uh, the attack power of the earth allies are gonna be boosted by 5% more so yeah you have to really you know, like match up that thing or else uh, you might actually face a lot of uh, you know, like disadvantages in this game okay so try to come up with that really good elemental synergy within your protection character and your main battle characters that's how easy it is okay anyways now let's move on into the next point and tip number six says upgrade your gear as you as much as you can getting your gears to two star or even higher stars after awakening them is definitely going to give you guys a lot more stat boost to your characters for example right over here if you want to get like new items going to the force right over here in the force right over here you will be able to manufacture or let's say create new equipments that you can equip to your allies so that they can be more powerful with that extra stats that they have and it is definitely going to be a really great help especially early on in the game in order to dominate your opponents in the battlefield that extra attack stat boost that extra defense boost that extra HP boost is gonna be a really great help indeed and just cuz you have purchased the equipments and then like oh, equip it enough. to your allies that is not enough okay you also need to enhance them for example right over here if I'm going to level up this particular uh, item right over here this is actually gonna provide a lot more stat boost right over here that is really great isn't it right and uh, if I am to evolve a particular uh, item or the equipment then well the star uh, grading of that particular equipment will rise so that I can get even more stat boost out there and once you have already maxed out the uh, level of your particular equipment then you can pretty much redo the equipment in order to get even more stats out there look at that 40 stats will be added 
right over there. And that's pretty good. Okay, let's do it right away, right over here. Okay, it's the 419. Oh, it actually did not happen this time. So there's a little bit of RNG effect going on around, guys. All right, so good luck with that RNG out there. For example, this one right over here. Let's do it. Redo. And uh, this one, okay, looks good. All right. Okay, boom. Instead of 346, it's going to be 381. Wow, there we go. That looks pretty good, right? All right, that is awesome, awesome. All right, now let's get back and let's move on into the tip number. And that's going to be uh, seven, right? The last tip in the game. Give your units, or let's say your battle characters, their specialty weapon. Yes, uh, pretty much the... Battle characters in this game are pretty much specific to the weapon type that they are going to be use, using. So if they have pretty much like the equipment or that weapon of their speciality, then they are actually going to be able to get up to 20% of attack boost right away. For example, this equipment right over here is going to provide that 20% of attack boost because it's of the similar type of uh, weapon that this character is really expert on. Because if I'm actually going to be using like this other type of weapons right over here, they are not actually going to provide my character with that 20% of attack boost. So if it's like this character right over here, I'm gonna go with this sword type of uh, weapon in order to receive that 20% of the attack boost. For example, the next character right over here, um, that's gonna be our uh, magic unit and that's gonna be our Shuna, all right? So for her, I have to provide this tome right over here that's gonna provide her the, that 20% uh, of attack boost. If I were to provide her with the sword instead of just you know, like this tome right over here, then what's gonna happen is that like, I will not be able to receive that 20% of attack boost and that is definitely not good guys, all right? So work out with the speciality of your particular uh, battle character so that they can receive this extra attack stats, which is definitely gonna be really great help in this game in order to improve your offensive ability and have more DPS output because this game is a lot more offensive than compared to the defensive, meaning like it's gonna favor more if your team is a lot more offensive and then like you can actually take care of your enemies right away very soon in the battlefield. Okay, so yeah, there we go guys. Those are all the possible ways on how you can effectively boost the total EP uh, rating of your entire team so that you can be very powerful against your enemies and dominate them in the battlefield and the next thing is that like also do upgrade the skills of your characters as well as your protection character in order to gain some extra AP boost out there okay and that's gonna be really good out there and the next thing is gonna be the uh, build nation yes you will be able to construct after reaching to like higher population levels out there, you will be able to construct uh, those kind of devices, okay, which is actually gonna allow you to gain extra attack boost, extra HP boost, and so much more in the game. Well, for now, I have not actually managed to unlock that one, so sorry about that one that I'm not actually able to show you guys in this video. But after you reach to the higher levels, you will be able to manufacture those, uh, you know, like device, like space device, uh, those fire device, and so on and on. That's gonna provide you guys with extra attack boost or stats boost or whatever that is to your allies and that's gonna provide you guys further EP boost in the game all right for now I've not actually unlocked that one so far <laughs> sorry about that anyways that's it those are all the possible ways on how you can boost the EP of your entire main team and get to compete even in the harder contents clear them and even unlock even more features out there in the game that's it this is it for today what do you guys think about this video please do let me know in the comment section below once again a very big shout out and thanks to this amazing guy known as joker tm from discord channel for coming up with really amazing easy tips out there and that's it this is it for today see you guys in the next video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button all right